What's up guys? I am jumping on board and making one of these cool Starbucks cups. Uh, so I've designed a few different designs that we can put on our cup and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this if you don't know already. So we're going to head over to upload and uh, if you head over to my blog, all my files are on there for you to download um, and put into a Cricut Design Space for you to use. So we're going to hit upload image. Do, do, do. All right, and you're going to find the template files. So this will be in a zip file that you will be downloading from my blog. Um, the link will be down below. And uh, once you unzip the file, you'll have these three different templates, okay? So we've got one with the two stars. I've got a sunflower template for you guys, and I've got a plain Starbucks template for you to customize. So I'm going to go ahead and use the plain Starbucks template so I can show you how you can completely customize it with this one template, okay? We're going to open this one up. We're going to save that select that and insert this image. Now I've done the measurement work for you. Okay. So you don't need to resize this. Please don't resize this because then you're going to wonder why it doesn't fit. Um, now just to be clear, this is for the cold cups. Okay. So if you're looking at customizing, um, a porcelain mug or something like that, this is not going to fit that. It may not fit that. You'd have to do some manual resizing, but this is already pre-sized for you for, for the cold cups, okay? Um, one other thing I wanna note is that it is not symmetrical, as in the, um, the length here is not the same as the height, okay? The width is not the same as the height, sorry. Um, so when you cut this out, if you start rotating it, it may not fit exactly. You'll notice that, that it's actually a little bit wider than it is tall. Okay. Um, so don't mess with that either. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and customize this. Okay. So a lot of people have put different types of icons here. So you can use the star template if you want to use that. Or um, if you have anything else that uh, you want to upload. So for example, let's say um, you're a teacher, you know, and you want to put an apple here, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add some text. Okay. Um, I'm going to do mommy fuel. So let's do all caps mommy. And the font I'm going to use is called, uh, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Uh, Santana. Okay. So we want Santana black. Once again, all of the details will be in the description below. Um, and we're going to take this and we're going to curve it. Okay. So here, if you click on more, there is a curve option and you can go ahead and start stretching this and seeing how this is going to fit. So let's make this white so we can see what this looks like. It's a bit big. Uh, let's try 55. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit more curve. But before I do that, I'm going to adjust my letter spacing. So I want my text to be a little bit closer. So I'm going to put 0 0.8 and see how that looks. So maybe a little bit less, 0.5. And I'm going to curve it some more. There we go. That looks pretty close. I'm just not crazy about this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm not crazy about the spacing of this, but the curve looks right. So before you do what I'm about to do, make sure your curve is correct, okay? And now what I'm going to do is ungroup these letters. And I'm going to manually move them. Because I don't like how close these two M's are. There we go. And let's add fuel. And we're going to curve it the other way. Oops. 
Let's see, we've got 55 there. Let's do 55 here. All right. And we can add, let's see, let's do some hearts. All right, now, before we go to make it, because right now it's just a bunch of layers right now, okay, we're actually going to have to use our slice function so we can slice it out. So let's select this and select our back layer and select slice, and that cuts it out. And we are gonna get rid of all of these extra layers here, okay? So we don't need this, we don't need this, and you'll notice in our slice result, the preview image here with the M is cut out. So let's keep doing that. I'm gonna drag this down. Gonna slice that out and we're gonna keep doing this, okay, with all the layers. Awesome. And now we just have our one layer left, okay, which is ready for our Cricut to cut. So let's go ahead and make it. And yeah, let's cut that out. And then I will show you how to best put this on your cup. All right, see you in a moment. All right, guys, let's make our cut. So I have Oracal 651 here. This is not the Cricut vinyl, this is the Oracal brand. And um, the 651 is the permanent vinyl that they have. So they have 651 and 631. 631 is removable, 651 is permanent. And for our cup, we want the permanent vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to size and, uh, and make your cut in the machine. And if you don't already know this hack, these removable um, protection sheets for our mats. You should hang on to those to protect your mat from dust and debris. Um, what I've done is I've actually written on Sharpie, with, with the Sharpie here, what uh, I can use this mat for. So I've done this with all my mats. So you never have to question what you need to use. You can just take a quick peek and you'll know exactly which mat you need to use. Um, so that's a quick Cricut hack for you there. Uh, I do post all my Cricut hacks on my TikTok. So go ahead and check me out, um, follow me, and you'll see a lot more um, little Cricut tricks and tips. All right, so it looks like we don't need very much here. And what I always like to do is cut my vinyl to size so I'm not wasting anything here. So. We only need about four and a half, four and a half by four and just, just over four. So let's make that cut. And I always run over it with a roller or a burnishing tool to make sure that we get some really good heat in there. And while that's cutting, I'm gonna start preparing my transfer vinyl. Sorry, my transfer tape. <laughs> it's not vinyl. I am still using the Cricut brand, but there are different brands that you can use. All right. 
right, so let's weave this. Let's apply our transfer tape. We'll peel off the backing on our vinyl. Uh, in case you didn't know this, you should let the vinyl sit for 72 hours before you do anything else with it. Um, it'll help get the bubbles out. And right now it's kind of repositionable. So if you needed to fix something and move things around, you could do that right now. Um, but once you let it sit for 72 hours, it will stick a lot better to the cup. Um, so then it's more permanent, so to say. <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, I've got three different designs uh, on my blog for you. Go grab them. One is a nice, fun sunflower one. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love if you could do that. That way you'll never miss another video. Alright, see you next time. Bye!